Nigeria, there's a wide range of health issues. We have the second largest number of people living with HIV and AIDS in the world, and 60% of that is young people. We also have other reproductive health issues like unwanted or unplanned pregnancy, especially amongst teenagers. We are working with and for young people to bring about sustainable change at the community level, at their state level, and at Nigeria as a whole. We're giving young people and children opportunities to be the solution and not the problem. Happy Project concentrates and targets young people that are out of schools. Most people tend to work with people in school because they're an easy population to reach. But with the out of school, because they're so diverse, it's hard to reach them. One of the things that the young people love a lot is being able to use drama. So we have a group of peer educators in the community that we've pulled together and trained and they come up with different skits and they go to the marketplace and actually do that drama um, for other young people to see. We decided to develop and to create our own HIV counselling and testing centre where young people can come and interact with other people, play games, but have the opportunity to sleep by the corner and actually get tested free of charge. I'm very grateful. The test, the result is out and I tested negative. So that's why I'm happy because sometimes we are not sure who we are until we go for test. In Nigeria, most schools require HIV testing as a mandatory requirement for gaining admission into university. And that is one thing that we find unacceptable and we're pushing and working with young people to make sure that that is eliminated. They form a group called the Youth Advocates Group and they actually go to the National Assembly, make presentations. They're currently developing a video um, that shares the experience of young people living with HIV and AIDS. We should be able to know your rights when it comes to making decisions about your sexual and reproductive health. Youth are the leaders of tomorrow and so they should be given that voice and they should be heard. Window of Hope Project has a bunch of children that are orphans or from affected communities. We are all one. We are all one. They meet every week. They learn everything from self-esteem to issues around drug and alcohol. All of this is actually being run by the young people in the community. Our mobile phone service provides young people with information, counseling and referrals through mobile phones in a non-judgmental and a confidential way. Last month we received 14,000 text messages from across the country. You're on to Eva Hotline. What can I do for you? It costs young people and children absolutely nothing to use the service. Every time I see my friend, I want to say hello. I know that we're making impact in the life of children and young people. Without us being there anymore, they can continue. And we can now move into other new communities and do the same sort of strategy. Say hello.